Welcome to Mind Library, your source of knowledge and inspiration. In today's video, we're going to talk about algorithms to live by. This topic is inspired by the book Algorithms to Live By, The Computer Science of Human Decisions, written by Brian Christian and Tom Griffiths. The book explores how computer algorithms can be applied to everyday life, from finding the perfect romantic partner to optimizing the way we schedule our tasks. The book is full of fascinating insights and practical tips, and in this video, we're going to summarize the key ideas and takeaways. We'll explore the most useful algorithms and how they can help you make better decisions and live a more productive and fulfilling life. If you enjoy learning about practical tips and tools for living a more fulfilling life, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So. Let's dive into today's video and explore how these algorithms can help you make better decisions and achieve your goals more efficiently. 1. Explore and Exploit The first algorithm we'll discuss is the Explore and Exploit algorithm. This algorithm is based on the idea of making the best decision with limited information. The algorithm suggests that when you're faced with a choice between a known option that has worked well in the past, exploitation, and a new option that has uncertain outcomes, expiration, you should balance the two strategies. Let's say you're trying to find the perfect restaurant to have dinner tonight. You could go to your favorite restaurant, which you know will provide a good experience, exploitation. Or, you could try a new restaurant that you've never been to before, which could be great or terrible, exploration. The explore and exploit algorithm suggests that you should try new restaurants occasionally to discover new favorites. This algorithm can be applied to many other areas of life, such as trying new hobbies, meeting new people, and exploring new places. 2. Sorting and searching. The next algorithm we'll discuss is sorting and searching. The algorithm suggests that you should sort and search for information in a way that maximizes your chances of finding what you need quickly and efficiently. Alternatively, you could organize your collection by author, title, or genre, which would make it much easier to find the book you're looking for, binary search. The sorting and searching algorithm can be applied to many areas of life, such as organizing your files, managing your email inbox, and even finding the perfect partner. 3. Caching The next algorithm we'll discuss is caching. This algorithm is all about prioritizing and managing your time effectively. The algorithm suggests that you should prioritize tasks based on their importance and urgency, and you should cache tasks that are likely to be needed again in the future. The caching algorithm can be applied to many areas of life, such as managing your to-do list, prioritizing your tasks, and even managing your relationships. By prioritizing tasks and caching information that is likely to be needed again, you can save time and improve your productivity. 4. Scheduling The next algorithm we'll discuss is scheduling. This algorithm is all about optimizing your time and resources to achieve your goals. The algorithm suggests that you should schedule your tasks based on their importance and the amount of time and energy required to complete them. Alternatively, you could work on the project intensively for a few days, dedicating all of your time and energy to the project until it's complete. The scheduling algorithm can be applied to many areas of life, such as managing your work projects, studying for exams, and even planning your social life. 5. Bayesian Inference This algorithm is all about making decisions based on probabilities and uncertainty. The algorithm suggests that you should update your beliefs based on new information and adjust your decisions accordingly. Alternatively, you could update your decision based on new information, such as news reports and financial analysis, Bayesian approach. The Bayesian inference algorithm can be applied to many areas of life, such as making decisions about your health, relationships and finances. By updating your beliefs based on new information, you can make better decisions and reduce your risk of making mistakes. 6. Overfitting The final algorithm we'll discuss is overfitting. This algorithm is all about avoiding the trap of making decisions based on too much information. The algorithm suggests that you should avoid making decisions based on small or irrelevant details that may not be relevant to the bigger picture. The overfitting algorithm can be applied to many areas of life 
such as making decisions about your career, relationships, and investments. By focusing on the bigger picture and avoiding the trap of overfitting, you can make better decisions and achieve your goals more effectively. Algorithms to Live By provides a fascinating insight into how computer algorithms can be applied to everyday life. By exploring these algorithms, we can learn to make better decisions, manage our time more effectively, and achieve our goals more efficiently. From the Explore and Exploit algorithm to the Overfitting algorithm, each of these algorithms provides a practical and useful tool for making decisions and living a more fulfilling life. That's all for today's video on algorithms to live by. We hope you found this information useful and that it will help you make better decisions in your daily life. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more videos on practical tips and tools for living a more fulfilling life. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.